The Polavaram project, which already boasts the world's largest spillway, has now entered a new phase with the construction of the ECRF dam. This crucial work is taking place in Gap 1 and Gap 2, located on the left side of the river where the hydro power station is being built. More precisely, the ECRF structure is being formed in the middle of the river, redirecting the water flow to the right side. Usually, reservoirs with concrete spillways are constructed in the river basin. However, in the unique case of Polavaram, a massive spillway was constructed on the right side of the river while the ECRF dam is being built in the middle of the river. This engineering feat is achieved because the soil in the middle of the river lacks the firmness required to support a spillway. Instead, the abundant sand on the right side is used for the construction of the spillway. The ECRF dam in Polavaram is an impressive structure spanning approximately 3 km in length. The Gap 3 works, known as the Concrete Dam, have already been completed. This dam serves as a connection between the spillway and the ECRF dam. The ECRF structure in Gap 1 and Gap 2 must withstand the full water level capacity of the reservoir, which is 194,000 million cubic feet. It also needs to accommodate a minimum water storage of 19 TMCs and an average storage of 175 TMCs. The design of the ECRF is drafted to withstand the huge flood water that originates from an area covering 3 lakh square kilometer and is spread over a 600 square kilometer reservoir with a depth of 32 meters. Detailed assessment has been made to ensure the feasibility of the ECRF structure which is built solely using mud and stones. This survey has resulted in the recent approval of the designs proving that the ECRF structure can withstand the immense water storage and flood flow of 50 lakh cusex. The construction of ECRF on such a large scale is a groundbreaking endeavor as no other irrigation project in the world has undertaken such a feat. ECRF Gap 1 needs over 35 lakh cubic meters of soil and sand, while ECRF Gap 2 requires more than 181 lakh cubic meters of soil and sand. The diaphragm wall was damaged during the 2019 floods. After a joint survey conducted by Central Water Commission, it was decided to repair a portion of the diaphragm wall while reconstructing another section. This vast diaphragm wall covers an area of 30,000 square meters and the construction work is scheduled to begin in July after obtaining design approvals. The works at the Upper Coffer Dam, Lower Coffer Dam and the damaged diaphragm wall are progressing briskly. The height of the upper coffer dam has been raised to address the unexpected flood disaster during the previous season and the construction of lower coffer dam has been completed. The project is being executed at a fast pace to complete it by the end of this year. Currently, the construction of the ECRF dam is taking place in the middle section between the upper and lower coffer dams. Since this area lies in the middle of the river flow, water accumulates at the construction site. Despite the hot weather, the workers are actively pumping out the water. After MEIL took over the Polavaram project, significant progress has been made in the construction work. A glance at the Polavaram project site reveals a bustling scene with hundreds of dozers and dumpers moving around, resembling a war zone rather than a construction site.